Fancy seeing you here. I'm coming at you looking um, similar to what you've definitely seen me before. It is a recreation kind of day, ladies and gents. So I posted a photo on Instagram of this makeup look here. And when I was doing the makeup look, I didn't film it. I didn't think it was gonna be anything. <laughs> Keeping it real, a lot of the time when I play more on makeup, it, it's <laughs> It does not make it anywhere okay, apart from this time. I did this like matte brown smoky eye. Added these gems to it. This bronzy, more matte skin. Um, and it was one of those times that I wished I filmed it and you guys wish I filmed it. The response made me recreate and actually film this. So here you go. If you wanted to know how I did it, the products I use, etc., this is the video for you. This video is dead cool as well because it gives me a chance to actually sit down and show you guys the products that I have been loving at the moment, like my holy grouse at the moment. Definitely some products in here that you guys have never seen me use. I'm about to share with you all the good. Got your back. If you want to know what I did to my face, just stay tuned, okay? We're about to get into it. Wrap this thing up, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hi. Fresh. Or you could say I look like a naked mole rat, but I'm trying to remember what I did first. I'm pretty, think I did eyes first. <laughs> Love how I'm trying to remember. This was actually like a week ago, guys. What I do know is I already have my brows on, but I did film it so I can show you guys what I used and how I did it. So, Benefit, of course. Benefit of the Brow Queens. We, we talk about this a lot on, on this channel because it's just true. We state facts. No one does brows like Benefit. Hmm. Recently, I've actually been using the Cabral to the pomade. I use shade four. So all that I do with this little guy is I start on the tail of my brow. That's where I want the majority of the product to be. So you only need a tiny bit of this product, by the way, because it's so pigmented. The tail of my brow is where I need the most definition. So we want to create that shape that we want. And then anything that's left on the brush, I use that to work through the front of the brow. So we have that gradient. Pomades can be quite scary, but used right. I love them. The reason why I've actually switched to a pomade, number one, my brows come off a bit stronger, a bit darker, where my hair is now a lot darker. I, I like that look. Number two, they last a really long time and your brows will not move from your face. And number three, the gal just wants to. And guys, once I've got that sort of base shape done, we need to clean her up and get her looking, you know. P. Louise base, love this stuff. I love using this because not only does obviously it work as some sort of concealer, so it helps to really carve everything out, but I use this on my lids as the base to my shadow as well. So it kind of just does, like kill two birds with one stone doing it pretty much. Then we got to set them in place, okay? I don't use anything else, okay, period, apart from the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Not only will this set your brows in place, but it picks up on all your brow hairs and this will bring that natural fluffiness back to your brows. This is a godsend. I cannot not use this. We have brows, woo! <laughs> this combo is fire, man. Right, moving on to eyes. So, like I said, I've already primed this whole situation. Palette-wise, I used... I love how organized I am, it's not even here. <laughs> God, my legs are gone burn. Got it. These nuts. <laughs> I'm actually not even funny. Like, honestly, if you want to unsubscribe, I just wouldn't even be offended at this point. Conspiracy palette. Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collab. I love how it's still in the box. I'm like savoring everything. I'm like, I spent my shmoney, okay? We're saving every every bit we can. This is what I used in that picture. Now, obviously, this is just like a warm brown matte smoky eye. So I'm pretty sure you can find those colours in other palettes, right? But I wanted to play around with this palette in particular and create something a bit more like wearable, not so crazy colour in your face. Like, hi, hello, makeup look, she's here. And I know a lot of us have this palette. I mean, come on, over 1.1 million palettes sold. I know some of you got it, okay? It is a beautiful palette. I do actually have a full review of this on my channel. If you've not seen it, I will of course link it below. The reason why I want to do my eyes first is because this palette has a lot of fallout. The eyeshadows are blooming great, but you just got to be prepared for a little situation underneath here. Real quick point, if you have this palette and you're going to use it, they work better on a wet base. I'm going to tell you brushes as well. Hopefully this video will be like more helpful. The first thing you want to do is build up that crease color. On this fluffy or pointed brush, I'm going to go in with Diet Root Beer this one in cheese dust. I'm gonna have a little mix, you know? Colors on that brush. Let's start to build up the crease. I'm just taking that color back forth, back forth, back forth. What do they say? Window wiper? Mo window wiper? Windshield? Windscreen? I don't have a freaking clue. Look at this pigment of this eyeshadow palette. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. But taking a little more pigment on the brush, build up that color. Don't worry about blending out too much right now because we're gonna use another color in a mo- In a mo- Moment. That's exactly what I meant. Inner corner all the way to the outer corner. By the way, I'm keeping it in this sort of rounded shape. Time to do a little bit of blending. So I'm going to take this fluffier brush. Tanacon is the colour we're going to do. 
Panacon right here to buff out those edges right up here by my brow. This color is perfect because it's not too like pig not pigment is not the right word. Okay, <laughs> it's just not a intense bright color, so it like blends out perfectly. Do you know what I'm saying? I think I'm pretty happy with that blend. Now we're gonna get dark bitches. This is where we're gonna get a little crazy. The black. We're actually using the black. I know. Just bear with. And you're gonna mix this in with Diet Root Beer. This is gonna make, it's like a custom shade, okay? The other dark brown in the palette is shimmery, which is not what I want. I wanna keep this matte. So we're kind of making our own little thing. Go ahead and just pack that on the lid. This doesn't have to be neat or anything, guys, by the way. Cause of course we'll blend it out, but woo. Wow, I love this. I feel like I've been punched in the eyeball. This is the exact look I'm going for. The only thing I am doing though, is packing it on in that sort of arch shape so we're keeping to that rounded eye shape now to be honest my brush i am to be honest now this is pretty much where we're just going to do a lot of like back and forth so we're going to pack the color on blender into the crease pack the color on blend into the crease until we get it as intense as we like so this is pretty much the kind of thing we end up with i know it's crazy right now and this fallout girl i need you to just We'll wipe that away. It's a whole lot of blending. It's a pretty simple look to do. We're literally using like three, four colors, but you just gotta be committed to the blend. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Gems, it's actually top of the gem. <laughs> For the gems, I actually used these here. These are actually um like nail art gems. These are actually from Primark, guys. Um, but obviously you can get nail gems anywhere. There's some gold ones in here. So they're the ones we're gonna use. There is silver as well, but the gold ones, just chilling in there. They're the ones we're gonna, which ones we're gonna use? The medium size like dots, they're what we're gonna use. We want, I feel like gold in this together, like gold and a brown smoky eyes, like just banging. Stick them down guys, lash glue. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. The Joy Quick Set Lash Adhesive, I love, cause it has a little brush, you can like, just like brush her on. You feel? Tweezers. Wow. Those vocals. Sometimes, you know, I really do think I'm in the wrong career, but. We won't talk, that's for another day. I just picked one out of my tweezers. You guys are not gonna be able to see that, but just, there's a little one in there, okay? Blue, brush them on the back. Wait for it to go a little bit tacky, just like you would if you're applying eyelashes. This one is gonna go just about there. Kind of like inner corner vibes. Next one we're picking up is gonna go just underneath the brow, kind of in the middle of our eye. Hello, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to stick on my eye, not the tweezers. This one I want to be closer distance than these two are, but sort of at the same level. So kind of like there. Get on there, you little sucker. You're not too close to your lash line though, because obviously you need to make room for your lashes, but. Cool. Last one, well, for the top anyway, is gonna go right in the inner corner. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Guys, the easiest way if you're struggling that I think of when I'm positioning the gems, kind of see it in shape. So I kind of go up, down, up, and then this kind of creates like a little triangle here and I don't know I just <laughs> Just roll with it guys, you know get creative. You don't have to do this exact thing I'm just kind of showing you where I like to place them and also when I look forward you can see all the gems None of them are like hiding in my crease or sweet Lashes and mascara mascara to be honest. I I kind of just pick up and use whatever I have like a million over here I could keep going, but now I regret all my life choices because now I've got to go and put these back. Do you know what? I feel like Maybelline Lash Sensational will do the trick. Just need something to make my lashes black. Ready for falsies. Jesus. Got some people thinking they're Lewis H out here. The lashes that I'm going to be using are just chilling in this pot. I have used them plenty of times. If you don't know about these lashes, okay, you need to get to know. These lashes are from Poundland, okay? Which means they're a pound. They're the Fern McCann Dramatic Style. And for a pound, like, you just can't go wrong. It's such a good price, because I don't know about you guys, but I lose my lashes all the time. It, like, <laughs> story time not even kidding the other day i lost one of my lashes right and i left them i just literally flicked glue everywhere wow can i do something without being a hot mess apparently not so i left my lashes downstairs on um the arm of the sofa this is on like my dad's side of the chair does anyone else's families have like 
positions in the house where they sit like everyone has their own seat <laughs> anyway left them there at night went down in the morning we could only find one lash and we thought this is so odd because i took them off together i put them down together and there's only one this doesn't add up then i started thinking to myself this is definitely the ghost of the de, de close that's my name of my road but you know we're not gonna share those deeds which side note i'm pretty sure there's a ghost in my house and I feel like I should do maybe some story times one day with them. I'm getting sidetracked. Wow. Couldn't find it, right? Real sad about it because, you know, lash is a lash. And later on, my mum come up and she went, Jordan, opened up her hand. There was my lash. But she wasn't in her best form, okay? My dad was at work, guys. He looked at the back of his diary and stuck on the back of his diary was my crusty, dusty lash. And you know the best part about it? He, li <laughs> he put the lash back on the diary <laughs> and just brought it home to me like... You go child. So, do you know what I mean? It's nice sometimes to have a lash that's not that expensive. So if it gets stuck on the back of your dad's diary, it's not an issue. You're not gonna cry about it. On a real note though, look at those lashes. They do not like, like? They don't, they do. <laughs> they don't look like they're from Poundland at all. The style of them is beautiful. Right guys, I'm gonna head off camera. Are we gonna run? What are we gonna do today, Jordan? Run, sprint, stroll. Do this eye and then we can tackle the skin. I'm actually gassed for the skin, guys. I'm gonna share with you like my go-to products. So if you wanna know what my faves are, keep watching. So when it comes to base, I have like, I have like the most annoying skin in the world. <laughs> Practically has a mind of its own and it just likes to do its own thing, but whatevs. I have the oiliest skin, particularly at the moment, I don't know what's going on, but my skin just wants to freak the F out and produce more than normal, which is just great. Kinda of has to like switch up my thing however when i don't wear makeup my skin then wants to be like ultra dry and like gross feeling and like freaking sahara desert on my face moisture <laughs> we don't know her before my makeup i've been loving this this is by sand and sky it's their australian emu app Australian Emu Apple Dreamy Glow Drops. Basically what it is, I don't know if you can tell, but there's two colors in here. The top is the like water solution and the bottom is the oil. So what you wanna do, give them a little mix. Pretty much what it does is it moisturizes your skin, but why I love it for me is that it doesn't leave me with that oily like barrier on my skin. I mean, you guys will see when I use it, I just drop a little bit on my skin and blend her in and you'll see my skin will already start to glow, but without leaving that oily residue, it's the best. The great thing is you don't even need a lot of it either. Can you guys see that glow on my skin? So good. <laughs> Prep for my makeup and it's fab, fab, fab. You love her. Primer. I've been loving this little guy, to be honest. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I like this because she smooths out my skin. Creates that like flawlessy type canvas. It's just like a little white cream. Put her on. Particularly in this area, I really press the product into my pores. This is dead cheap as well. I really want to try the e.l.f. Putty one, but it's always out of stock. I feel like everyone's jumped on that hype and everybody knows about it. All right, skin is prepped. I'm going to let that all kind of like sink in for a minute before I put on foundation. My foundation of late has been the Huda Beauty Pro, is it Pro Filter? No, Faux Filter. What's Pro Filter? What am I thinking of there? That's the foundation, right? Pro Filter. Who knows? <laughs> Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. I'm in Tres Leches. Oh my God, that was the worst like French you've ever heard in your life. To blend her in, I use my Morphe sponge, which I need to go wet because I haven't. Love being prepped, don't you? Back bitches. <sighs> well, they sponge. And then just blend her in. The coverage on this foundation is fab. The finish is more on that satin side, which I love. I mean, I'm used to wearing full coverage foundations, so I don't find this heavy or anything like that. This foundation just lasts as well. Do you guys know what I mean? Genuinely will hold up. And it. I feel like it, for my skin type, helps with the whole oil situation, which is great. I'm gonna get around these brows. It's the only thing I hate about doing them first, but then I don't like not doing them first because then they're just there. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I still gotta do my brows. I feel like I could just sit here and go like this for about the next year, but I'm gonna need you to calm down, ma'am. Love her so much. Concealer. Hmm, what do we have? You know what? I have to be honest, guys. I have been going back to my Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. This is in the shade Almond. This is more on the lighter side, but it does brighten and highlight. I remember when I used to use this all the time. I mean, it is bomb. I'm gonna put a generous amount underneath my eyes. Okay, the holds up. I'm gonna highlight with it real quick as well. Chin, cupie, nose, forehead, the usual spots. I use my sponge just to press this in as well. To be honest, I actually kind of use 
different concealers all the time. I have quite a few different faves. I love this one. I love Benefit. Benefit's um, new one, Boing, is, is amazing. Maybelline Superstay is fab as well. Um, the Make a Revolution Concealer and Fine. Again, another good one. I feel like this one in particular though, I love the coverage. I love the way it just melts into the skin. I feel like this has to be one of the best concealers of all time. I right, just gotta keep it real. One on Too Faced. Nailed it. By the way, I take my concealer all the way up here because I feel like it really lifts the face up, like brings everything up here, you know? Fake it till we make it, boys and girls. Fake it till we make it. Cream contour, you bet your ass this is something I've always got to do. This is where your face starts to come to life. You'll see everything come together at this point. This is the only thing I use, okay? This is by Primark. It's their foundation and contour stick in caramel. Temple area cheeks um i do like my jaw thing here because i kind of want my chin to appear more like square at the bottom here and then a little bit down the sides of my nose wherever you feel like you want to define and create shadows kind of shape your face all that good stuff put this i'm just saying that because everyone has a different like head shape do you know what i mean and, di and different features they want to bring out and then my favorite thing to do is actually take a brush for this like a flat top one really dense where i can just sort of push the product in this one is a kevin aquam one which comes free with a foundation i just like it because it's quite small but anyone that you can kind of find actually you know what let's use this body shot one because then you guys can get hold of it bounce the product into my skin i don't swipe because i don't want to disturb the foundation underneath and don't worry about it being perfectly blended yet because i'll go over with my sponge at the end but this just places that color let's go crazy guys let's get blending and like i said i just take my sponge and just pat over the edges just to make sure everything is super seamless okay sweet how much better does that look already i'm starting to look a little bit more human less smally to set everything so underneath my eye i like to use quite a brightening powder to keep that highlighted area. This one is actually really great. This is by I Heart Revolution. It's their banana baking powder. By the way, some of these products, I go into detail in a first impressions coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But you can see she's not like too yellow and too crazy. I hate banana powders when they're literally like the color of this lid. I can't be doing that. Like that. Look, what, are we, what are we trying to do? This one's great. She's great, okay. So this is the new Real Techniques powder sponge, which I just realized I haven't wet. It's okay. You can use air dry, but I prefer wet. So am I really about, I'm really about to, why am I so lazy? Like get your ass up girl. Where's your sponge? Press it in and just press this into our under eye. Look how smooth she is. I'm like, whose skin are you? Genuinely pressing powder into your skin over just putting it on with a big brush makes the biggest difference. Particularly for the center of your face, I feel like anyway. And then also between my brows. And then the good old RCMA powder I use all over my face because it's translucent. This I do use with a big brush though because I just want minimal product. I just like to set my face because... I don't know, I get scared that like when I try and blend like my bronzer and stuff, it's gonna be a hot patchy mess. And I have oily skin, so I mean... I only have a tiny bit of this powder left. That makes me really sad. Hello? Oh. oh, I can actually unscrew it. That probably would just help. Come on. Yes. Banana powder underneath here. Reverse contour. After this step, I always go back to bronzing. I've been obsessed with my Hula Caramel at the moment. Such a fab, like warm toned bronzer. Dip her in. You don't need a lot of this, by the way, because she is pretty freaking pigmented. Really lightly over the top of what we've already kind of done. Emphasizes what we've already done and just adds more color, life. Basically, okay. Any excuse for me to add more bronzer to my face? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna kind of dust off that powder at the same time. Look at that. She's thin now. I like to contour my nose as well. I prefer the original hula to do this then the caramel because it's a little bit cooler if i show you them next to each other you'll see what i'm saying so it's not as like it shadows more which is kind of the illusion we want right ladies do you know what brush i've been loving for this it makes it so much easier if i can actually find it it's by kat von d the number 40 brush so the bristles i don't even know how to describe that shape it's like a line at the top and then the bristles sort of taper out and down i find you can place the color down with the line in the middle and then the sides will lightly buff out the edges i don't know it just creates the most like perfect nose contour this brush it's honestly genius i don't know what she made it for but girlies we are using it for our nose contours we go down 
gonna blend as we go along. So as you can see, we start to create that line, which I know that looks crazy and a little scary, but just bear with me. Same thing for this side. Make sure when you're doing your nose contour, guys, to really take up and arch underneath your brows. That way it looks the most natural. With whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna start to buff that line out. I also take product right underneath my nose here this lifts this i kind of like that like button nose effect also a little bit here to create that little like circly button nose thing i don't know i just do it it works <laughs> little trick little tips and trick i used to highlight with like glittery powders and stuff but i found that when the oils come through you you get like no definition because everything's just like this one big glittery oily mess she ain't cute okay this is where i gotta i gotta fix this i'm obsessed with using my p louise base down the middle of my nose. Some of you are probably freaking out right now. <laughs> Just trust the process. I take a little bit on my brush. Make sure it's a really ditty amount though, guys. Can you see how that's the perfect sort of matte highlight? It does the job, but without being like glittery and overpowering. Make sure you tap as well. Tap the product rather than swiping up. Otherwise you might remove the foundation underneath. Same thing for the tip of my nose as well. This is the secret to my nose contour, guys. Benefit Hula and P. Louise base. Oh, and the Kat Von D brush. Genius. That isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. Totally get that, guys. Do what you're comfortable with. I just like the way this looks. So, yeah. Cool. I have started to do my highlighter before my blush recently. Well, I mean, I switch up, to be honest. It just depends whatever I grab first. But doing it this way around, I find that when you put your blush on, it kind of makes sure that the highlighter has no edges and everything's just together, you know? I switch up my highlighter all the time. I, <laughs> I have maybe one too many. But I feel like if I had to say what my ride or die was... It has to be this little guy. This or the Beauty Bay palette, actually. They're both fab, but... This is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlighter. Oh, this product, you guys. It is just beautiful. Looks wet on the skin as well. Like, it's just... It's just the best thing, guys. Honestly, I could just keep bathing in this. Do you know what I mean? I also like to take a little bit just above my brows. And a little bit on cute feet, even though you won't see it because I overline the crap out of my lips, but here we are. By the way, I kind of tap my highlighter on and I use a smaller brush because then it stays in a more specific area and by tapping it on I feel like you get like an intense bit of color I don't know okay I just see fancy people do it so now I'm over here doing it I feel like Mama Mitchell does this so if Mitchell does it I'm gonna do it period I'm just gonna take some underneath my brow bone as well forgot to do that oh, whoops Cool. For my blush, I'm using these by HMB Cosmetics. They're the Dare to Be Different blushes. I love the color Self Made, which is this one. It's like the perfect light peach. And then also Feeling Peachy, which is obviously a lot brighter. Both colors I love. Uh, both beautiful. I think I think I might go for Self Made. Oh, that color is gorge. It's like that soft peachy vibe. Very me. Now that I'm looking at my face, I feel like I need more bronzer. What's going on? Does anybody else feel like this? When you put on more products into your face, like your blush, your highlight, etc., etc., I just look and I think, where did all that bronzer go? Like, where's the colour of my face just gone? I'm just going to um, wax some more colour on one sec. Now to do the final bits for underneath my eyes. So of course, jumping back to the Conspiracy palette. Dip into Diet Root Beer and Cheese Dust first. Use that as sort of the colour starter. And then, of course, a tiny bit of the black, like a teeny little, right at that lash line to deepen it up to match the top. From what I can remember, I'm pretty sure I only put one gem underneath my eye. Yeah, I did. I was just like checking the pick. <laughs> Very last thing for the eye, guys, I take a mixture of ranch and just a theory, but mainly ranch. Right in that inner corner. Should have done this before the gem, but here we are. I'm an idiot and I forgot this step. Whoop. Another little tip, if you want your gems to really pop, I take some clear gloss and with a little brush, I put it over the top of each gem and obviously that's gonna make it look 10 times more shiny. Finally, the lips. This is one of my favorite nude lip combos. Hold on, I think there's something in my eyeball. <laughs> Am I good? I'm not sure. This nude lip is just dope, guys. It's honestly one of the best colors, I swear. You've heard me talk about this a million times, but the Primark Lip Liner Pencil in Toffee. We're just gonna use her to line the lips. Or overline, in my case. I always get questions about how I overline my lips. Only technique I have, I don't overline the bottom, by the way, only the top. I don't really have a distinctive cupid's bow, so I can get away with doing this. The line, the middle, 
And my tip is I don't give myself a cupid's bow. I kind of make it quite flat because I feel like it makes my lips look more plump. So I overline the top half. But when you get to these side bits, don't overline them, just bring them back in. That's the best way to give that illusion of a bigger lip without it looking obvious. Fill in the edges a little bit, kind of make that line a bit thicker. Finish her off. This is my favorite MAC lipstick of all time. Naturally transformed, this color is the best. The best. MAC, if you ever discontinue this, okay? Look at your words. It's just the best color, I just put it in the middle. Oh. The perfect like nudie beigey goodness let me just make sure those edges are blended in this picture the last thing that i did was i kept the mac so i like this whole like matte vibe um i took the peely's base <laughs> i literally use this for everything as well i take a little bit on a brush and then that is it folks i'm gonna kill night to finish off Girls and boys finished look here we are i honestly think this is one of my favorite makeup looks i've done in a while i just i love a good matte glam i really do hope you enjoyed if you did thumbs up subscribe if you want to comment down below let's interact all that good stuff everything i use will be in the description box guys so check that out thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video stay cool okay and i will see you very soon with a brand new video